Welcome to my channel. In this episode I'll show you how to build your own Final Cartridge 3 Plus. The Final Cartridge 3 is a cartridge with a lot of tools and a desktop and is some uh, and is a handy tool for your C64. It um, also includes a fast loader and the freeze function. With the freeze function you can save uh, game data and so and things like that. I had one back in the day and so I used it all the time. With the kit I show you in this video um, it is is it very easy to build your own. So enjoy the video and let's start it. So if you buy this kit this is what you get. The PCB the EEPROM, different sockets, some logic chips, two switches, an LED, some capacitors, standoffs, the jumper, resistor pack, and some diodes. And also you get this menu. Yeah, it's focused. And in this menu, there's all described. If you build this kit, and if you use this, it's very handy. So then now get started with the assembly. So. First of all, we start with the diodes. Here I get my PCB holder. Then we put the PCB in. So, and the diodes came in. Here. Oh. Oops. The polarity is on the board, and here are a black stripe, and in this case, it's facing up. Then we flip this over, bend the legs to the sides, and then we solder this in place. Then we use this cutter and cut the legs off. Now the focus is back, you see it's all soldered on and the legs are cut off.
Next, uh, the IC socket. We start with this big one. And to hold this in place, I use this sticky pads. Then if you have solder two legs on the PCB, it helps by its own. Reflow the solder joints to make them nicer. So, but it's not necessary. And the other sockets you make it the same way. You must look at the silk screen, there is a notch and on this socket there are notch too. These must align. Ah, that's too long. It's too short. That's the one that came in here. If you see there's some in the hole, I clean this later out. Mm -hmm. 
be careful with your soda. Can block you. Hold. So now our sockets are on the board and the next step is how oh, you look here in this menu the resistor network and the capacitor So let's start with the resistor pack. In this case, you don't have to mention any polarity on this resistor pack. And now we take this little capacitor that comes in here. And this one has no polarity. Snip this off. Now, oh, the next is the LED and the jumper. LED is come here, and this LEDs have a flat side, and this flat side is matching with this flat side on the silk screen. And now the jump bars.
So, and now the switches. One is for freeze and one is for reset. And after this, we take this electrolytic capacitor. You see, the black stripe is marking the negative side. In this case, you have to mention the polarity, and the plus is on this side. So, this black stripe must be on this side. And that's all with soldering. And next we put in these logic chips. But first clean this up. For this I use IPA and uh, brush and the paper towel. Put this gunk from the board. So first we put in the what's here? 74L is one three three and this came in here. Oh for this it makes easier we have this one to insert the ICs I use this one pin straightener. Can straighten the bits. You see the difference. This is more straight and this is more angled. You can put this easier in the socket like this. So the next I see is this one. It's an SN74HCT273N. This gets in here. So the next one SN74LS163AN. And this gets in here. This one. And 
It's in 74 LS14P. Let's get in here. Get this one. It's in SN74 LS09N. Gets in here. Rup. Uh, my wristband on, and the last one is the EEPROM. Uh, and this it's carefully in here. If you buy this kit, this EEPROM is already burnt. And if you want use this card as a normal final cartridge tree, you can get this, uh, this uh, binary file from the internet for the normal final cartridge 3. And if you see here, here you must use this 27C512 EPROM and you can get this in here like this and then you have to put this jumper this one here to the left side and then you can use the smaller EEPROM with the normal final cartridge tree functionality so if you see it's all done and now Let's test this out. So here we are testing this ready assembled final cartridge 3P, 3 plus. I have all installed the feeds. And first we put this in the expansion port of the C64. It's my C64C with an 25407 mainboard in it. I have a video about this I put in the description. So, little power. This for video. And they're connecting my SD2IC. I put the link in the description as well. I have uh, in the last two, um, the last few weeks bought in uh, 1541 too. Uh, this one is untested, so I don't want to use this here. So are we starting the SD2IC? And if you plug in your final cartridge and you put on a computer, uh, you get a desktop from the final cartridge. And so we do. Here we are. We have a, here is the desktop from the final cartridge. Here are several menus. You can use joystick for uh, to get uh, through the menus. You can use a thirteen fifty one mouse, or you can use like me the keyboard for navigating. You use the function keys and for look inside the menus and uh, get one of the options. You use the Commodore key. So here is the desktop, the version of the desktop. Oh, now let's see what version final cartridge we have. We have kind of final cartridge version 2. You see here. You have several menus. You have a system menu. 
you will have uh, project menu, utilities, clock tools. The tools menu is only on the final cartridge 3 plus. On the normal final cartridge you don't have this tool menu. So in the system menu we have basic prompt, the final kill point, um, point is uh, to shut off the final cartridge. There's a freezer function and a redraw function. On the project you have the notepad, D-Link and D-Link. On the utilities you have the preferences, basic press and calculator, operations for disk and for tape. The operations for, ta for disk we uh, take a look in, in, uh, in a minute. And you have clock. And the tools menu with uh, some formatting tools, test tools, copy tools, and so on. So let's use the disk menu. Is uh, the disk menu the disk operations I used uh, back in time a lot? And it's the for me the most important part. Oh, if you press here directory, you see that's the directory of the SD two IC. You can here choose if you have your disk drive on address 8 or 9. If I want to um, use a uh, disk drive plus the SD to IC or two disk drives, you can here choose the second disk drive. If you want to start here something, you can choose a menu point no, then you get on yeah. on run then you get on do answer this question and you get the error <laughs> well it's a directory with uh, the with the command desktop you can get back to the desktop so another try I have to reset my SD to IC. You get directory. Then we choose the file browser. That's the program. Then you get run and and I think we don't getting any errors and load the file browser. The file browser of the SD2 IC can navigate with the normal cursor keys. I have a lot of games in, that's the reason why we get, uh, we have a little bit to wait. I can choose some programs. And the final cartridge is also a, a little bit, huh? It's crashing. Program is crashing. Okay. On the... Um, final cartridge, there is a fast loader, so you can also 
load a little bit faster from the from the destroy. So that's the basic prompt from the final cartridge. You have some additional uh, commands on this basic. No, we go the old fashioned way. It's without a mouse a little bit easier. Try another game and hoping it don't crashes. I think I think it don't like me. Oh, let's reset computer. Let's go to the tools menu and the show one program from there. Here we have a copy program stored on EEPROM. If you see, you can, you can choose a copy program. It's very easy to use. So I don't want to copy this. I don't have a second disk drive attached. So if you see, our build is working. And so I can say it's done. This is for this episode and you see it's not that difficult to make your own final cartridge and it's a lot of fun. So the links for the stuff uh, is in the description. You can, um, if you want, you can also leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you like this video, hit the like button. You can also follow me on Twitter or support me on Patreon. If you want more videos um, of my channel, subscribe. And so I see you in the next time.